This fucker Drake really said so many checks owed on check owed Slovakian. What the fuck? When he said that what the fuck part, that was actually my reaction. Like, I feel like he himself can't believe he wrote that shit. And these are the bars that are the best verses of Drake's life. Nah, y'all ain't got an answer for this, man. Did y'all write that line? Yo, what's up, y'all? It's Nana from Just Nana, please. And today, we got Drake's Fat D, man. If you don't know, Drake recently dropped a new album, For All The Dogs, Fat D. I don't know why he titled that joint. That just left me waiting to happen. And it came out with very mixed reviews, bro. Now, recently, Drake has honestly been on the greatest of album runs in this new age. I feel like his earlier stuff is honestly way better than his newer stuff. His newer stuff has been seen as more, like, trendier, but not like the Drake we know, you feel me? And I feel like this album he dropped recently has been getting a lot more hate than it actually deserves. I feel like the hate is actually carrying over from his old, older albums. I think what really fried Drake, honestly, this time was his promo, bro. He went on this whole run talking about some, oh man, y'all, if y'all want the old Drake back, you're gonna get it on this album. Then Yachty's gonna come out and say, yo, Drake's best verse is on this joint, bro. After listening to 23 songs, I'm not gonna lie, if anybody makes a top 30, top 50 Drake verses and one verse from this album is there, it's fraudulent. That verse is nowhere on this joint, it's not there. If he recorded that joint, he kept it in the vault because that shit is not here. On top of that, another blunder he did was At The Gates featuring Lil Uzi Vert, bro. That would have been probably the best song on this joint, nowhere to be found. Leaked like maybe like, I wanna say a year ago, some months before this album was supposed to come out, sounded beautiful wonderful a great song a great collab drake has been on record saying that lil yachty is like the creative director for this album and you can definitely tell bro unfortunately it kind of did a disservice to this album bro drake did not deliver on this shit lil yachty is creative i like what lil yachty's been doing i'm loving everything lil yachty's doing this year bro but him on this album was just not it this was the first album i ever felt like the features really carried drake and you know that's funny considering that drake had this one meme where if you have a song and you have drake on it it's drake's song now every song on this album that had a feature just felt like the feature was carrying more than drake j cole was washing drake yeet was washing drake Part Party Next Door was washing Drake. Chief Keef probably had a better verse on that joint than Drake. It just felt like Drake wasn't really in his element. And as of this recording, this video, Drake has like a 52 on Metacritic. I feel like people are a little bit harsh on the album, but it's not that bad. I think out of all of Drake's recent albums, this probably isn't the best one. I still think of the modern era, Her Loss is probably Drake's best joint, bro. I got songs I still play on there. Middle of the Ocean is still on there. I just think that this song, this album was a little bit too trendy, bro. I think this album, it's a smooth listen to, but it's not an album I'm probably gonna go back and play through all the way. I'm gonna collect my few songs from here and then probably just keep it moving, man. Lil Yachty helping out with the creative direction on this made it sound more like a Lil Yachty project than a Drake project. Like, I don't mind if you wanna have other people, you know, some younger people come and looking to take a look at it, pick some sounds from it and kind of move on. But I feel like Drake kind of lost a little bit of himself in here. This film felt more like a Lil Yachty album. And I feel like Lil Yachty is slowly creeping into Drake's discography. It started from um, one with Jumbo Short, Jumbotron shit popping. I think that was still her loss, I'm not even sure. When that shit started, I'm like, hmm. That song itself sounded like it was a Lil Yachty song that Drake was kind of just doing a voiceover on. Like, if you switched out the voices and put Lil Yachty, it would have flowed even better. This wasn't a really a Drake project, more like a Drake sing-along. Lil Yachty wrote everything and then Drake just sung everything about it, man. But honestly, I still think it was pretty good. There's a couple songs I like there, like um, First Person Shooter was pretty good. Um, Another Late Night was pretty good. The song with Yeet was actually super fire. I don't give a fuck. All super fire. I just think people aren't being super fair with this album. As soon as it comes out, I want to give your opinion. And as soon as you click the first three seconds of any song, if it's not what you want to hear, y'all dismiss it. Y'all do the same song and dance every Drake release. It's asked the first week, then, a, then like a couple months later, wow, this album really grew on me. But honestly, does it deserve a 52 on Metacritic? No, it could probably get like a 70, maybe like a high 60, really. Like it wasn't the best, but it's not the worst. People are shitting on the joint. I guess the worst thing that dropped this year. There are far worse albums that dropped this year, man. Yeah, hey, that's what I think, man. Let me know what y'all think, man. How y'all feel about Fat D, man? Was Drake's Fat D disappointing? If y'all like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. It's been Nana, and I'm out. I'm sweating like shit, bro.